Hi, today's learning target is I can decompose an irregular polygon into rectangles and triangles to determine the total area. An irregular polygon is the same as a composite figure. So we're still going to need our area formulas. Specifically today, we're going to be looking at a rectangle, which is area equals length times width, and a triangle, which you can write as area is equal to base times height divided by two, or area is equal to one half times base times height. So today we're gonna to look at composite figures or irregular polygons on the coordinate plane. So here we have some points to plot and they're here for us. So we have six, seven, three, four, negative four, four, negative four, negative three, and six, negative three. So I plotted my points and now I'm going to connect them to create an irregular figure. So here is my figure. When I look at this, I start to see two different shapes in here. I can see a rectangle here and I can see a triangle of sorts up here. So in order to figure out the area, I'm gonna to have to break this down into shapes that have a formula. So I can break it down into my rectangle and my triangle. I'll start with the rectangle, which is area equals length times width. So I need the length and the width, and I'm just gonna count the units. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm just counting my dimensions specifically of this orange shaded portion of the figure. So in order to find the area, I'm going to multiply the dimensions together, which gives me 70. So this bottom portion here, the area is 70 units squared. So now I want to look at the top portion, which is this triangle. So for a triangle, I need the base and the height. The base would be along the bottom here, and it's three units. And the height has to be a straight up and down line. So this is a right triangle. So I'm going to use this side. It's also equal to three units. So now to find the area of this triangle, I'm going to do 3 times 3 divided by 2, which brings me to 9 divided by 2, and 9 divided by 2 is 4.5. So the area of the triangle is 4.5 units squared. So my last step here to determine the total area, if I know that the triangle is 4.5 and the rectangle is 70. Then my last step is going to be to add them together. So 70 plus 4.5 would be 74.5 units squared.